Um, just what you said. I mean, we don't like pats on the back. I think Ireland are a team that we haven't had a benchmark against. Um, we felt we've been properly um, beginning to climb in terms of the level of performance that we've uh, had in the, in the first couple of games. And, and we just wanted to go out there and play and continue to create a habit in terms of the intensity that we play with. And, you know, that, that's the, the reason you see some errors from both sides, because uh, we're trying to push the boundaries in the way we're trying to play. Um, uh, and, and we want to play. And uh, we wanted to put pressure on Ireland. You, you, know, the, you know, I think the average number of tackles we talked about was over 200. Every team has had to make in the last six games against them. That's the All Blacks, Italy. It doesn't matter who plays them. You know what's coming. The forwards have to make over 152. Uh, if that's the correct number in uh, in each of the last six games, uh, so that's what you know. You have to come and uh, incredible performance from Leo to go the 80. But I wanted to keep his leadership on the pitch because there was so much, so many moving parts. So we look at errors, we look at the things that we can't do well. Um, we live in an immediate world. It's another stat. Uh, it's another easy article for lazy people to write about Italy if they want to. Uh, but we're a proud, proud nation, and uh, like Ireland in the 90s, uh, we'll continue to build. And if uh, I don't give a hoot if it's not with me, I just want to do what's right for Italy, uh, create good habits, create a good structure. Uh, and when I see, you can't buy what I saw on that pitch today. Um, <laughs> do we not want the errors? Of course, discipline. Uh, I think we've already heard over here, you know, you're allowed to play the nine underneath the posts. That's, uh, that's fair game, but those things go against you sometimes. Um, you know, it's, uh, we were on the wrong end of the count today, but some of them were, were right. Our fault, Jacob Stockdale's first try, you don't give away that on international level. So they're things we control, folks, and we control, create good habits, create a level of performance. Uh, and we've got a proud group of people. And uh, there were a lot of moving parts out there today. So, um, you know, it's a loss, and um, uh, we're pretty gutted about it, but we'll keep on moving, and we have an easy game in Twickenham next. I said it. I said it after the Welsh game when uh, someone said how terrible the Welsh were after winning 11 games in a row. And I know they made changes. And Dan Bigger, who was you know mesmeric last night in the last 20 minutes, was been slammed. Um, we live in an immediate world, in an immediate world, a sensationalist world, and uh, you have to understand that when you're in the when you put your neck on the block like Leo Geraldini does every game. Uh, when you do what we do. Um, but that's the world we live in, but it's brilliant. You wouldn't swap it. You wouldn't swap the week we've had. Uh, you wouldn't swap going up to a town on Monday, training with the under-20s in Amatrice and seeing what proper, uh, proper challenges are like. And if you want to see what proper challenges are like and live your life, uh, we have a privilege here. We have a responsibility. Uh, and we will keep on working and, and hopefully we'll get a bit of luck as well as executing ourselves. So that's what I look back on. And to... It's a discredit to our team to be just saying it's all. Did Ireland make mistakes? You know, we'll probably look at the kicks that we missed, the length of kicking. I bet you there'll be some uh, wizards who would have been able to kick the ball longer uh, out in that wind today. If you go out in the middle of a beautiful Roman day and you look at the swirling wind that was there, there was a reason why Johnny and Tommy and those weren't able to kick the ball long. One because they're not world-class players. It's because there was a bloody wind that was swirling all over the place. So I'm sure there's loads of mistakes that people look at. I just want to focus on these fellas always. And um, it's easier speaking and getting my point across in English. I try so hard to get my point across uh, in, in Italian. And sometimes it's lost. But these, these guys are an incredible b b bunch of people. But we have a lot of tough days and a big climb ahead. But we're climbing. Shh. <laughs>